Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Garx Tech New Horizons Season 2. Uh, you may notice we are in a weird place, and that is because um, I decided to move our miner. It had finished up on Ganymede, and I figured let's go to Ross 128 or something, I think it is. And if you don't know, Ross is not in the solar system. It's actually way out here. And uh, you wouldn't think that would be a tier 3 planet, but it actually is. So, a bit weird that, you know, I think they're, uh, they're like tier 7 tier. Yeah, Pluto's tier 7, but this is a tier 3 outside the solar system. I don't know. I always thought that was a bit weird. But anyway, uh, it does have a atmosphere, so you don't actually need oxygen, which is pretty cool. And uh, the other cool thing is uh, we have these kind of like little ruins of a past civilization, and they actually do have old Greg Tech machines in. This one looks like it's just LV. Yeah, basic LX Melter. So you can actually break these, bring them back, break them down if you want. I'm not going to take LV stuff. Nah, I'm not going to worry about that. But uh... yeah, I'll take the heart. Ultimate stew. Sure. Um, my bags are a bit full at the moment because I have all the minor bits in, I think. Also, ancient gold coin? Yeah. Is this just, just gold? Oh, that molten gold is like... That looks much brighter than it used to be, which is cool. I like that. It's like a really like vibrant yellow. I don't remember it being quite... It was more like a a darker color before. I don't know if there's any use for that. We'll take it. Bronze boots... Not so much. Um, but I do want to get this miner down. So I guess. And where is this? Fly around. See if we can get. There we go. Or junk. I figured we'd just start on one. Um, actually, let's start a little bit closer. This should be one right here. Yeah. To where we land with the thing does this not work on no does that not work here that's gonna make me sad okay apparently it just doesn't work on sand <laughs> <laughs> I placed down the stone brick and it did work. So, red zircon. This one. Oh man, scandium. <laughs> I remember that from multi block betas. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, bismuth. That one. What I'm really looking for, and I don't know if there's like an easy way to. An easy way to search these veins on. I don't think this. Oh no. Is that all? I remember seeing the error for silicon. I didn't realize that was for everything. Are all ores not working? No, that makes me sad. Alright. So apparently I can't check anywhere that drops. That is an issue for sure. I don't like that. Um, but I do, at least it tells you what's in it. Um, I am looking for like Galena for our Indium. I guess we'll just fly around a bit. Throw some. Is this one right? Yeah. Throw that down and then we can prospect. A lot of this stuff. Like helium 3, is that the. Uh... <laughs> I thought that like helium three was maybe the thing. How would that helium three be an ore? <laughs> Same with chlorine. I'm just noticing that. Unless that's hydrogen, deuterium. I've just noticed that that all has like fluid in it. Um. All right. I guess. Uh. Let me. We'll just continue flying around a bit. It's nice that we don't need oxygen.
A little bit tiny plants. Yeah, that's really weird that it doesn't work on sand. Stibonite. Argon. Okay, so uh, let me continue this and we will see what I can find. Okay, we are back and uh, I did quite a bit of exploring. Um, also went down to Bedrock to see if there's anything worth pumping here. Uh, just distilled water and natural gas so far? Uh, doesn't seem worth it. Um, maybe there's more. I don't really feel like doing that um just because it's kind of annoying you have to dig all the way down to bedrock um maybe when we get the the better prospectors um i'll check it out but uh as of now it doesn't seem worth it um so that is the underground fluids now these are the veins basically just went around in a square i don't know why that one doesn't that one it says it's an ore chunk but there's nothing there um, maybe, maybe it's like one that spawns high up, so there was no ground there for it to spawn. That would be my guess. But, uh, yeah, so I went around in a circle or a square and, um, unfortunately I don't know what is like the best, what, what's that spelled? Uh, head. There we go. Uh, I don't know, like, what the the best ores are here. Like, we get this ore and that ore and this and that. I'm like, I don't know what any of this stuff does. I mean, you can look over it. You can see calcium, iron, silicon, and oxygen. Well, none of that is that important. Thalite. Iron, silicon, oxygen. And pretty. I think the this one is, like, copper. No, lead, zinc, and vanadium, which that's not terrible, actually. The zinc, there it is. Um, it does help when you know the <laughs> the chemical things. You can just look at it and you're like, oh, okay, so that's what that's in there. Um, but, keep hitting the wrong button. Um, yeah, so most of these I have no idea if they're worth it. I don't think most of them are. What I did do, fine, though, is this one and we actually have three and i remember them being good ish from our first season i think there's one right there there's a third one if we want to do that um and the reason this one is good is because if you look at that copper indium and sulfur but it comes in this vein and it is sporadic. So there's not a whole lot of it in there. I remember like maybe 20, 30 ores. So you don't get a lot, but what you can do is process it down and um, you can get indium directly from it. So every four rogue site, you get one full indium dust. And I came here for Galena, which I never did find. Um, I don't know if it's in one of these veins. Um, I just, like, this one. Fortnite, Witch Knight, Tetrahedrite. Yeah, see, it's not in there. So I don't know. I don't know where the Galini one is. Poster. Also, this music is really cool. What was that? What was the name of that ore? Four. Oh, four. There it is. Yeah, see, there's this stuff again, which doesn't do anything. That's magnesium. Magnesium, silicon, and oxygen. Is that what... Okay, so where does the argon, calcium, and scandium come from? I don't know. I don't know. All right, and then that one, it gives me an error. So, yeah, a little bit buggy at the moment. But, um, so I have gone ahead and thrown this on this rock or whatever vein. And uh, I need to get back. Oh, there we go. We're getting some. But 
yeah, we can see the ratio. Oh, we actually have a stack there. It's hard to tell because they're all the same. Like, they look the same. All right, so we got 74. Um, cool. Well, I need to get back because apparently the A system is not on. I don't know if... I probably have chunks that are not loaded in between the power and the base. So uh, it's not on. So I need to get back. Although, this will fill up, so I have a little bit of time. Um, but yeah, so that is that. We'll just have that run and clear this out. Uh, but I don't know if there's anything else... That I am not seen. Let me know. I'll move the the thing. But most of this, yeah, like Thorianet. There's already so many ores. <laughs> like, do we really need more? Lepidite, Spudamon, yeah, Thorinite. Yeah, Uranite's all right, but uh, Uranium. We have a Uranium one on another planet. Okay, but uh, let's meet back at base okay we are back and i have run into a, another issue over here uh trying to craft up soc wafers and um this doesn't appear to be separating the input buses and watch now that i'll do it and now it'll work <laughs> just because I started recording. It'll show me up. Alright, so if I put that in there, this should be the yellow. We should get an SOC wafer. I swear, is this working now? Did I have it set to false? Alright, what happened is we got a PIC wafer instead. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, see we were getting pic waivers and i couldn't figure it out um but uh, maybe i because i'm just like it said separated true maybe i had it set to false all right did this stuff like no oh, i don't know i don't think it I don't know. That was... It totally did the PIC waiver. Alright. Well, just ignore me. <laughs> as soon as I start recording, it works again. That's happened a few times. I thought this was broken. But, okay. So, uh, yeah. We're back. We are pumping the stuff in the A system there. Now, I am just... Still um, figuring out... Some of the new changes here uh, i haven't decided if i'm going to replace this i could replace it with a processing array i wouldn't even really need to switch out patches like input buses and stuff and i could just leave all this stuff here and just replace the the casings with the robust casings and the and that would that would actually be pretty easy to do. Although I don't have all the robust casings. I might need it for that. Um, I did just craft up four of these cables that do 128 channels. And uh, we didn't have any issue except for the, the energetic alloy. And that's because the recipes clash, as we know. Um, but I thought... And I'm like... 99% sure the backbone cables. Yeah, um, I'm like, there's no way they attach to the controller and you get 128 per side. I knew that wasn't going to be a thing, but I just wanted to double check. Um, now, P to P, though. Does that work? Um, I kind of want to. Can you put. Like, can you put, uh, hundred and twenty eight channels through a tunnel?
I don't know. That almost kind of looks like it is uh, just going down to the 32 size. I don't know. Let's do... Let's just test it really quick. So we'll do that. Um, actually... No, we'll do that. I'm just trying to think, like, how do I want to do this? We'll do that on that side, and then the other P2P on this side. And then um, we'll put those there. They're like really dark compared to those. I like them, they're cool. Alright, so we'll just do that. That. So they are connected. Um I guess we'll do Man, I don't know how I would test if it a hundred and twenty eight channels go through that though. I would have to connect like a whole bunch of I mean, okay, if I connected two P2P fluid things, like, that wouldn't, <laughs> that wouldn't show me anything. I need to know if there's 33, which, yeah, that's not going to, that won't work. Obviously, you can transfer channels through them. The question is how many. I could, I just don't want to, like, break everything here. I'm like, I could try to send this all through one but i just don't want to let me uh yeah let me see if there's an easy way for me to just connect temporarily to things i just don't want to like break a whole bunch of stuff actually maybe i'll just i'll just throw like yeah Yeah, let me test this. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. And I decided I didn't want to mess everything up in my base and unhook things and redo them. So I just decided I'm going to test this really quick. Um, I just cheated these in so we, we could test it so I know. Um, so I'm just going to, I'll delete them uh, right after we're done. But uh, I just didn't want to craft up 32 because I need 33 channels to test this. Um, so basically just connected that. So that's the 32. This is the 33. Um, I did find out that uh, that doesn't connect. Didn't know that was, I didn't realize that was a thing. So if you want to connect it, you're going to have to do uh, small cable, dense cable, and then that cable, um, which not that big of a deal, but uh, it is definitely something. You think about all right so basically what i've set up is this and then in theory we will see is this going to be 32 channels or 33 on this side uh, when that sorts itself out it should just take a second Fortunately, ae is a bit slow figuring out the channels yep all right, so it does look like it's 32. One of these is, yep, there we go. So that's seven. Um, I kind of had a feeling that wasn't the way it connected to the P2P. I'm like, that, that feels like it's only going to do. We can see, see how it's like. It doesn't like go down to small or whatever. Um, but all right, so that is that's good to know for future. Um, I don't know. I guess if I could do this with my wrench, it would be quicker. Oops, actually, no, it's not. I don't have the uh, keep me need to craft up the oh, wait, no, 
I don't have the, uh, there is no Crescent Hammer in here. I really like the Crescent Hammer. But, uh, alright, I just wanted to show that we are, in fact, deleting those. Okay, cool. Well, that is good to know. Um, I think we will... I don't know how I would... I guess we could, as we are building our network, I guess what, what I would probably do is... And these can only do 32 as well. Um, but this does let us transport a lot. So I may have like... 28 channels coming in and then I would at the end separate out the you know all the p2p kind of like that but then I can just do like one main line down the middle instead of having to split it out like I have been doing um, I don't know if I'm going to do that right away but as we are moving forward like all leads could all be going down to one line straight down the middle we would still need the every p2p and it would all have to you know go out to the 32 channels in the controller but uh yeah we can definitely condense all this stuff down like i would just make this line but again not being able to connect the single ones makes that a little bit more complicated but yeah we'll see what we can get into with that is good to test because that is a pretty big change. Okay, so as I was kind of looking at recipes, I actually converted a lot of my loot bags into IV. I've moved up the the thing turned in three to turn into one. So we actually have 31 loot bags. I do have uh, one there and I also completed this quest give us two of these. So I'm actually going to do these right now. Um, but as we know, I have to enchant. I want to enchant these loot bags. So we need lots of motors. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, that heavy duty stuff I'll take and that ender pouch. I think we have, I don't even know how many we have now. Three, <laughs> three ender pouches. Uh, Dynamo buffered. I eh, don't know if we need that, so I'm just gonna chuck it in there and see what we get. Yep, I'll take that over the other stuff. Although EV Dynamo probably not going to use. But uh, okay, so as I've been doing that, one I realized that as I tried to craft up a whole bunch of motors, I realized I had a whole bunch of tungsten as we can see we have a little bit of issue i do need to sort that one out that is something i need to do i've never set up that um these plates for the advanced cables um as we know we need like the foil for the uh the advanced cables i haven't set that up so i need to do that um and we'll just throw it in a fluid solidifier to plates we'll do that um but i realized the tungsten one i have a whole lot of tungsten dust because the whole carbon thing that i'm having issues with my blast furnace um instead of smelting the stuff it was turning it into um instead of doing this recipe it was turning the tungsten trioxide into tungsten dust, and that's how we've ended up with so much tungsten dust instead of the ingots. Um, but I also noticed as I was looking at that, these recipes have changed and they have been nerfed. So before it was one tungstic acid to one trioxide dust, not anymore. It's seven to four. So that has received a bit of a nerf. And also, this recipe used to be two of these, plus three carbon, which gets you two ingots. Not anymore. That is actually, let me see if I can get that recipe. Now it is eight 
and three gets you to Ingston, to tungsten ingots. So that has been nerfed, um, unfortunately. Now, this is probably the best way to do this, um, but I need to fix the my blast furnace. And uh, in the meantime, I think I may just do the tungsten dust. And it's slower. It's not as efficient. Um, but just until I can get this sorted out, um, because this doesn't work very well with the carbon, um, I think I'm going to do it this way. And then I think that is, yeah, is that right? Check four, yeah, and then one, because this also is four to one. So you need way more of this tungsten trioxide dust, which means you need way more of this, which means you need way more of that which is a bit of a pain. So this is also something I'm going to probably automate um, because I'm low on shielite, but I have a absolute ton of, not that, tungstate. So uh, this is something I'm also going to automate. Uh, unfortunately, it's gonna take me a little while, but uh, in the meantime, um, uh, today we are kind of one we're exploring ross and two we are kind of just still fixing things that have changed and as i was looking over stuff i found this and i have no idea if it works but um i was looking at i don't even know how i found it i think i accidentally right clicked on this input bus instead of left click and this is like whoa what is this so uh Stocking input bus, advanced item input for multi-blocks, retrieves directly from ME. Wait, what? So what I have been doing, and we can go over to the, this over here, our silicon. Um, I'm actually going to turn that off. I actually re removed the, the things because it can't run. It's never going to void because it can't run if it's not. If one of them's not working, it can't run. So I've removed the machine controller and stuff from it. But we do have this. And this is, I need to keep this stocked with silicon. And I was doing that with an export bus, but has that been, is that no longer a thing that needs to be done? Well, let's check this out. All right, it formed, right? Yep. Oh, is this like it? Hold on. Is this going to be like the... Oh, I'm excited. I'm literally... I'm really excited. Is this just going to be an interface like that? Is this... Is it? Oh, it's similar, but yeah. Exactly. Um, so we just... Yep. Holy cow. So does that just... That just pulls directly from... Oh. Ew, new. Oh. I need to do a the input bus number. Two. Does it work on there? It looks like it works on there. Is this it? Is that gonna do it? Oh my goodness. It does work. Okay, that is cool. Whoever came up with that, well done. Well done. Um, now it's not gonna like go crazy if I had connected that. Hold on. I'm like, is there like an input hatch for fluids to docking? No. Okay, it's only items. I thought I was like, holy cow, is there like a a thing for stocking fluids from me? But there is not. All right. Well, that's amazing. Bravo to that. Um, there is so many of these that I could probably replace if I wanted. Like, there is an export bus keeping aluminum stocked. Um, here is an input bus keeping that and that. 
Um, unfortunately, I don't have Galena. We are getting the rock whatever stuff. Only 118, though. So we're not getting a lot of it from that. Um, it's still going, obviously, but... Okay, so if we have two items... Uh-oh. Why did it disappear? Oh, I've been having these, and I, I think there's something over here, and I don't know what's doing it. Um, but if I go too far away, and I think it's probably, I don't know, I can, it looks like it's chunk loaded. Um, yeah, you can see the A system is turned off, and I don't know why it's doing that. If I do that, nothing comes up, and it only seems to happen over here. I don't know what's causing it. Yeah, we're back. Um, I may have to chunk load more stuff. I have noticed that when I was working here before, this area, something over here was causing the AE system. Um, I probably could move. I may actually just do that. Maybe move this and add a... We could probably just add a... Instead of being powered from there, being powered kind of like directly from over here. I could even probably have it just powered completely separately by itself, um, which, to be honest, I think this, I think this thing no longer works. I think that has been... That is no longer a thing. Also, I just realized that uh, I have no cables. Oh, I do have cables. What am I talking about? I have ME cables. Do that. So I don't know if that was doing it or what, but... Uh, We'll have to fix that. Okay, so uh, not, I didn't get a whole lot done today, unfortunately, but uh, we did, I spent a lot of time going to Ross and getting that sorted out. Um, and yeah, we're still just fixing recipes as we work towards our assembly line. So lots of things I need to kind of change and adjust. And uh, we're still learning everything that uh, is new in the pack. Um, but I'm glad I accidentally found that. I didn't realize that was a thing. It may be under somewhere in here. Not that one. It may be under here some now. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, anyway, that is going to be it for today. Like I said, I'm going to kind of work on some of this stuff. Uh, improving charcoal byproducts also changed, which is... A bit of a pain um, I need to sort that out I think we were doing this one but now it actually has <laughs> dimethylbenzene with it so it doesn't I need to fix the thing so there is still a lot of stuff that I am trying to fix but uh, yeah let me know if there is anything better from Ross 128 B as well um, so thanks for watching and have a good one